Yes, yeah, so cooking is allowed at the UNN hostel. Hi guys, welcome to the Student Chief YouTube channel. My name is Blessing Olari Waju and I'm currently a student at the University of Nigeria. In this video, I'll be answering common questions about the University of Nigeria. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and also remember to like this video. For this video, I'm going to be answering questions in three different categories. Number one is the general category, number two is on UNN admission, and number three is on UNN hostel. So out of these questions I'll be answering, which are our 13 numbers, uh, if there's any question you have or you still need further clarification, let me know in the comment and I'll be glad to assist you. Like I mentioned earlier, make sure you subscribe to this channel because here on the Studentship YouTube channel, I post educative and entertaining videos that you'll find if even as a student in university. So guys, let's go into the video proper. UNN has four campuses. The first campus is the Unsuka campus, that is the University of Nigeria Unsuka. Uh, this is the main campus. This campus houses a majority of the departments in UNN. So when you're talking about pharmacy, you're talking about agriculture, physical sciences, etc. These courses are the Unsuka campus. So the second campus is the University of Nigeria Enugu campus, which is located at Enugu City and not at Unsuka. So this campus is this where you have the College of Medicine that houses the health sciences, basic medical sciences, dentistry and medicine. We have the law faculty at the UNEC campus. We have the environmental sciences and we have the business administration. See? Now one major confusion many newly admitted students encounter is which of the campuses they will stay for their first year. So basically if you are in the College of Medicine, like you are in any of the courses at the College of Medicine, let's say for example medical laboratory sciences, nursing, dentistry, medicine, your first year will be at the Nusuka campus like you're going to study at the Nusuka campus for your first year then from your second year upward it will be at the UNEC campuses but for other courses like law environmental sciences and business management you will study at the UNEC campus from your first year so but then if there's still any confusion about this you can let me know in the comments now the third campus is the Itiko Zala campus which is located at Itiko Zala that is the University of Nigeria teaching hospital so the College of Medicine is at this campus now the third campus is the Aba campus Yes, there's a campus at Aba, so this is just like a kind of affiliated campus. It's not much of the administrative work takes place in this campus. This campus is called the University of Nigeria Aba Campus. Well, the fees for UNN varies according to your faculty and departments. As a first year student, you should budget above 130,000, and for your acceptance fee, it is above 35,000. So it just depends on the time you are watching this video. But if you need the current UNN school fees, you can check the description of this video to get the updated UNN school fees. For other returning students, the fees depends on your level. So the fees paid by 200 level students is different from the one paid by third year or final year students. Way back in 2015, University of Nigeria made it compulsory for every student to pay for the UNN laptop. But currently, there's no policy in place for the procurement of UNN laptops. So you are not mandated or obligated to pay for the UNN laptop. But as a student, it's advisable to get a laptop. You can get a HP, a Lenovo, a Dell laptop, any of these products, uh, so that you can use it for your term papers, for your research, and other academic activities. <music> Well, the requirements for admission to UNA, it depends on the course you want to study. So basically, you need a minimum of credit passes in the relevant O-level subject combinations. Also, you need to score above the cutoff mark for the course you want to study. So all of this depends on the course you want to study at UNA. The University of Nigeria does not offer free Wi-Fi service to students. What happens here is that every session, students pay for Wi-Fi service. That is the Lionet. So you pay, you pay a fee to access the university Wi-Fi. So it's not free of charge. <music> 
University of Nigeria does not give scholarship directly to students, but there are many scholarship opportunities that you can get as a student of UNN. For example, we have the UNN Alumni Scholarship, which is for UNN students specifically. And there are other multinational and national scholarships you can get as a student of UNN. Yes, the University of Nigeria is one of the best universities in Nigeria, in West Africa, and Africa in general. All the courses in UNN are accredited. It depends on what you want to study. Whether you're into the sciences, college of medicine, art, social sciences, agriculture, it depends on the course you want to study. So any of the courses in UNN are the best options for you. Like in every universities in Nigeria, it is not possible to get admission to UNA without jam. So whether you are coming through diet entry, through the UTME, through the JUPE program, you need to take the jam form. Well, the first thing you need to do after getting admission to the University of Nigeria is to create your student profile on the UNN student portal. After creating this profile, the next step will be to pay for your acceptance fee. After paying for your acceptance fee, you will then proceed to fill your biodata form. It's a biodata form on the student profile. So after filling this profile, then you can proceed to pay your school fees and prepare for the UNN clearance. Well, the pass mark for UNN depends on the admission policy for that year. But all you just have to do is to make sure that you meet the cutoff mark for the course you want to study. Competitive courses like medicine, pharmacy, law, mass communication, these courses usually get a high cutoff mark because a lot of students are trying to you know, go for such courses. The duration of academic programs in UNN depends on the course you want to study. So if you are going for medicine and dentistry, it is six years. For pharmacy, it is six years also. Then courses like nursing sciences, law, uh, medical laboratory sciences, engineering. Those courses are for a duration of five years. While for other courses like in the faculty of art, physical sciences, I mean mathematics, chemistry, uh, mass communication, and education, these courses are for a duration of four years. So it depends on the course you want to study at UNN and that will determine the number of years you spend at the university. Well, UNN has numerous hostels accommodation for students because when I talk about hostel, we are talking about the UNN campus. There are about nine female hostels at the University of Nigeria Unsukan campus. Uh, while we have two male hostels and also new hostels. In the Enugu campus, there are also male and female hostels at the university campus. Also, for Etuko Zala, there are also hostels for clinical students. Now, it's not compulsory that you stay in the hostel, you can decide to stay off campus. There are a large percentage of UNN students who stay off campus. There are different off campus locations for students, so it depends on the campus. And of course, the cost of accommodation depends on the location. The cost of accommodation in Enugu campus is it's higher than what is attainable at Unsuka campus because of its location. <music> Female students pay higher. Yes, female students pay higher than male students. So for female students, the price will always be above 30,000 Naira, while for male students, it will be above 20,000 Naira. So it depends on the policy for the academic session. Yes, the University of Nigeria has private hostels, and there are, there are options for nursing mothers and students who want to also live at private hostels. So the answer to this question is yes, there are private hostels at the University of Nigeria. Yes, so cooking is allowed at the UNN hostel. Well, at times it's changing. The investing management is trying to stop cooking because to avoid fire incidents. But generally, cooking is allowed at the University of Nigeria hostel. Although there are some hostels in UNN that you will not be allowed to go in with your gas cooker, your stove, or electric cooker. So before you apply for any of your hostel, it is necessary that you make the necessary inquiry.
So basically, if you want to stay in a university hostel, well, you have to bring a few things compared to those that want to live off campus. So at the, at the university hostel, you'll be provided with mattress. You don't have to think about going to buy foam. Uh, there's wardrobe. There's table and chair. So all you just have to come with is your books and your clothes and other materials like buckets, gallon, you know, mirror and stuff like that. Like those that want to live up campus, they will need to like get a lot of things. Except maybe you are moving into a room uh, where you meet properties. I always advise that you should not necessarily come from home with these materials like gallon, like mirror and stuff like that, especially, especially when you want to buy them new. You can always go to the market when you arrive at the university to get those materials just to prevent you from bringing extra luggages when you resume. So it just depends on your budget and what you want. So hi guys, I hope I've been able to answer most of the questions you have about UNN. So guys, if there's any question I have not answered in this video, do wait to let me know in the comments and I'm going to respond to you as soon as possible. So make sure you like this video, like this video and subscribe to this channel. It is necessary. It is necessary. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. So if you are watching this video at the time of applying to UNN, I wish you good luck and success in your admission processes. And if you are already a student at UNN, great lion and lionesses. So guys, that will be all for this video. Do wait to subscribe to this channel.